unless you're just taking like a single thing, like you are just using say magnesium or just vitamin D, you might be taking something that has kind of uh, little evidence like to support it. And mm -hmm. most, most of those supplements that you like see on the shelf um, or see like marketed on like a podcast or something aren't probably haven't necessarily been, been like actually tested. Right. Of course some have, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you get one like an athletic greens where it's like a list of like 70 plus stuff. <laughs> right. So how do you even begin to yeah, know like what right. each individual thing is doing? Mm -hmm. It seems to me that like with some of the stuff like athletic greens, it's almost like there's so much information out there about like supplements and optimization where people just say, screw it, give me the one with everything. And right. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. just gonna try to like throw a blanket over it and hope that that catches any deficiency which is actually an interesting topic. Is there, my, my, my thought is like, step one is like construct a diet that is going to have the RDA or somewhere mm. near the RDA of the things you're and, and do your best there. And if you have a situation where like, whatever is like kind of a, a good diet for you where like I can repeat this day in and day out and be happy with it. If there's gaps in that, and you can't find replacements that are going to keep that diet to be successful, then maybe look at a supplement to try to fortify that. 